So here's the Upload Car API and what we can do is click on Image Operations and we can see the sorts of things that we can do with it. So you can see we can adjust the quality of an image, we can adjust how it loads, we can resize images, crop images, all sorts of things. And down here we get into the effects, we can enhance an image so that if it's a dark image we can make the colours brighter to make it easier to look at. We can sharpen images, blur images, grayscale, invert, auto-rotate images. So if we take a photo and it's rotated the wrong way, Upload Car is able to fix that. We can rotate it ourselves. We can flip the image, which flips it upside down. And we can mirror it, which just flips it horizontally. And we can put watermarks on images. And this one is quite useful. We can determine the main colors of an image. And in fact, Instapic does that. So if I go to Instapic and I click on my profile, you can see it doesn't take that long to load because we're using caching. So if I click Inspect Element, I go to Network and I turn off Cache. Now if I refresh, you can see it takes longer to load, but if we look at the photos, you can see now they have these backgrounds, and those background colours are determined using Upload Car to determine the main colour of the image, and we use that as a background colour whenever the image is loading. So if I just do that one more time, you can see that as the images are loading, we have the main colour of the image behind it. So we're going to take a look at the Upload Car API. So back on the photo feed, you can see here are all of the photos on my feed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this photo into the address bar and you can see we have one effect and that's to reduce the quality to make the image load quicker because you can see we're only showing the images at a small size on the screen so we don't want to waste bandwidth and take too long to load the image so we reduce the quality. But if I want to get just to the base image I can delete that and now this image has no effects on it at all and you can see it's much much clearer. So because of the way Upload Care works, when we build our project we don't actually have to work out anything whenever we are applying effects. Because to apply an effect is really easy. If I look at an example effect, let's say for example I want to make the image grayscale, all I have to do is go to the image, put a minus sign after the name of it and then I say grayscale and I hit enter and now Upload Car has on the fly converted our image to grayscale. So inside Instapic all I have to do is change the URL that I'm looking at. So this is the URL we're looking at here. This is the same photo. This is the same photo with that filter applied. If I just drag this into the address bar you can see here are all of the filters that we've applied. So all I have to do is delete all these filters and you can see we get the original image again. But it's extremely easy for us to apply effects because we don't actually have to touch the original image. All we have to do is change the source that we're looking at it through. So all we have to do when we apply an effect is add the effect onto the end of the URL in the source attribute and the image will automatically be updated. The same goes for invert. I can say invert to invert the image. Now you can see it's been completely inverted. So let's say after inverting it I want to flip it as well. So all I have to do is say minus flip. Just like this, hit enter. Now it's been flipped and it's been inverted. So say I want to find the main colors in this image. I would expect some blues and some whites. So to do that what I do is I just say minus preview because I want to preview the image and then I set the main colors is the endpoint I want to access and I want to retrieve two or three main colors. So I'll put in a three so that I want to retrieve the three main colors in this image. I hit enter, we get JSON back and these are our four main colors in the image. We always have one main color and then we chose to have three additional main colors. And what these are, are these are the individual RGB pixel values. So you can see I just copied this color, I pasted it in here and you can see this is the color Google Chrome thinks it is. So we got a main color of in between blue and white, which can be useful for when we're loading an image. So to actually upload images to Upload Car, what we want to do is we want to use their widget. So whenever we upload an image to Instapic, when you drag an image in, you're actually using Upload Car's upload widget, which makes it really easy to upload photos because they take care of everything. So here is their upload widget. So to install the widget onto our page, so to put the widget on our page, all we have to do is include some JavaScript and our Upload Car public key. So the public key we get from our API keys section. Here's our public key. This is the key we put on our page, and then this is our secret key but we're not going to show that at the minute. So I'm going to create a basic HTML page with the Upload Car Upload widget just to show how easy it is to add it to a page. You could use it for anything whether you're creating an Instagram clone or not but this is quite useful to learn. So we're going to create a widget. So to create the widget all we have to do is copy this script tag, paste it in there. We don't even need a valid HTML page. We want to copy this script tag. We want to copy this script tag and paste it here and we want to change that to our public key. So we're just going to go back to Upload Car, double click that, get our public key, paste that in there. And we have one more thing to do. So the way their widget works is it will replace an element on the page. It will replace an input element in a form. So if I just copy this input type and I paste it on our page above our JavaScript and save that. Now you can see I've opened this page up and we have our file dialog. So if I click on that, I can drag in a file. I'm just going to drag this picture of clouds in. And it's going to upload that to my Upload Care account. So if I click on this, now there is our photo. And now if I go to our Upload Care account and click Overview, you can see I have one file stored. 
click on the files tab and there we have the file I just uploaded and I didn't have to do any programming all I had to do was create a really simple HTML page and this is one of the reasons why I wanted to use upload car for this series because it makes photo effects extremely easy which is really useful when you're creating an Instagram clone and you can see in as little as about three lines of code we can have a file uploader on any page that we want and we can also customize it on Instapic the uploader is purple so if I drag this in one more time you can see the uploader is purple on Instapic because purpley blue is the sort of color scheme that I was going for. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe. In the next video what we're going to be doing is creating user accounts. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Reddit. But that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.